we've been kind of with um, MECFS and long COVID, we started out with uh, a college sample of about 4,500 students. We got blood samples on them and we had them fill out of the Paul symptom questionnaire just to see how they were functioning. Um, and then about, we waited um, to see which ones would develop um, mono, which mononucleosis, which is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. About 5% of that 44,500 did. So we had a couple hundred people who had baseline data um, when they were okay. A virus hits them, some recover, some didn't. And we followed them over the next um, six or seven years. So what we have is a prospective longitudinal study, not only of people who have gotten infected by Epstein-Barr virus, which is causing mono, which could be causing um, MECFS for those who don't recover from the mono, but now we're actually um, studying into the pandemic um, and continue to find um, whether the pandemic also had an effect on our sample. So we're both studying MECFS and long COVID, and we've recently received some additional funding to collect a sample, um, mostly from a Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago of youth that have long COVID.